Ah. All right, we're going to try that again. Hello, and welcome to my channel, Haley Marie Vintage. This here is spooky. Today, we are going thrifting in Denver, which is where I grew up and, in my opinion, has some really good thrifting for really good prices. Spooky. Yeah. So I'm going to take you along with me to five stores and then we are going to go into a haul. So with that, let's just go ahead and jump right into the footage. All right. I am at my first thrift store stop, which is a Goodwill. Today, the plan is to go to this Goodwill and then an ARC and maybe another Goodwill, depending on the energy I have. I'm feeling fairly low energy, so I doubt I'll make all those. We'll see. It looks pretty packed, so we'll see how much I really want to film in there, but uh, we're going to go ahead and head on in. I was quite surprised to see this Goodwill carrying patterns. That has not been true in the past. So I was just flipping through and it looks like they're mainly pulling costumes patterns, which is interesting because I can't believe that that's all they've had donated to them. This Goodwill has no fitting rooms, so I am trying on in the home goods section where there is a mirror, and here I am trying on this yellow dress. I think the fit is cute. I didn't button it all the way up because it's a lot of buttons, and I only want to do that if I'm wearing it. I thought this top was kind of cute, but I ultimately couldn't see myself wearing it. I think this dress is so pretty, but ultimately I just couldn't really see myself wearing it, although this might be a little bit of a regret. I don't know because it's looking really pretty here in retrospect. And I picked up this dress because it had lots of really great details, but it's definitely just too tight on me, so I'm going to pass on it. But I do, again, think it was super cute. While browsing, I found the cutest homemade pottery cups. These are all a set that somebody made, and I thought they were so beautiful. The glazing itself is really, really nice. All right, thrift store number two, we're at the Ark. I was very successful at the Goodwill. However, the Goodwill has really gone downhill in condition in this area. You can just tell they're really understaffed and like have stopped caring about their store. And I don't blame that on the employees, of course. That is clearly a corporate decision. And the Colorado Goodwill website is quite defensive. It's a vibe. My goal right now is to spend only about $20 per place. And I spent $22 at Goodwill, so now I'm heading into Ark, trying to also hit that $20 goal. So we're gonna head on in. First up, we have this navy shirt. I didn't quite like how the shoulders fit on me. And then down here, we have a like tropical print skirt. I felt like it was just a touch loose and I wasn't sure I loved the print. And then I tried on another peasanty blouse. These were kind of what I was looking for. And I just wasn't sure about the sleeves on this at all. And then this skirt is just super flowy and beautiful and has a really cute little tropical print. And then there's this blouse, which while I like the print, I don't feel like it's hitting my shoulders right, so I went ahead and passed. And then this blouse I absolutely loved. I loved the crochet edging around the collar and the neckline, and I just thought it was a really pretty cut. And then once I tried this one on, I don't even know why I picked it up. I think it is horrendous. Now we journey into pants. This one, the fly is broken, but I think it's still really cute, and I can fix the fly zipper myself. And then I felt pretty ho-hum about this blouse. It was fine. I just felt like I found better finds in the store. I think this blouse was just a touch too big and the colors aren't really my color scheme. And then I tried on this romper and it fit pretty well except for across the stomach where there was some weird gapping that I didn't really want to figure out how to fix if I was to buy it. And I don't know why I'm such a sucker for a denim dress. I already own several and I don't need any more, but I still tried this one on and while it was cute, again, I have a lot of denim dresses. And I'm back digging through the patterns. I was amused because there were a few costumes here that were at the Goodwill, which is like just a few blocks away. So I thought that was kind of funny. There wasn't really anything here for me except for this pant pattern. All right, we are another day. I did get too tired to go to the third thrift store. So we'll see if we can hit three today or if we're gonna stick down to two. I have a Goodwill first and then two arcs I wanna go to. So this Goodwill is pretty small. It shouldn't take me that long. So I'm gonna go ahead and head on in. I am so mad I found this in Denver. This is like an American Girl doll size bunk bed. You can refurbish them to be cat bunk beds and I think it's so cute. And so I was so mad this was at Denver but I couldn't justify buying it and figuring out how to get it to Washington. So here I found this little set of miniatures, which I've been a sucker for. I did want to pick it up, but I had to then make some elimination choices from my cart because ultimately I'm trying to stay around $20. So that way I could get it. I went ahead and I let go of this cute little birdhouse shirt as well as this brown plaid skirt. While it was a really beautiful wool skirt, it's not really a color palette I wear. All right, I am at my second thrift store at the Ark, which is in Littleton. It's a pretty good Ark, but I just realized it's senior day, which means it will probably be packed. 
and competitive. But we'll see how long I last and if I decide to come back a different day. I have another try on here. I loved this skirt, but it was definitely too small. I would have bought it if it wasn't. It's so cute and I just, I don't size things up. These are like a kind of a fun strapey pair of pants. I'm not quite sure they would actually fit well into my wardrobe. These ended up looking really weird on, but this is a skirt, but I felt like it just wasn't cute. I thought this tropical skirt was cute, but I only need so many tropical skirts in my life and this is not really my colors. This one was also a contender, but with my $20 budget, I ended up leaving it behind because I do generally find I don't wear pleated skirts this shape. And then these blue shorts were killer. Look at these. I felt so good in them. They definitely are a smidge tight. And that was a good butt shot for you. I thought they were so cute and I love the color. These shorts were too big and my last short alteration was a disaster. So I went ahead and I passed on these because I just felt like even though they were really cute, I wouldn't be able to figure out how to alter them. I knew this piece wouldn't work for me, but I thought it was really fun, so I tried it on. Look at these cute little prints. And I am also firmly not allowed to buy dresses like this, but I wanted to show you it because it's so sparkly and pretty, and I love the angel wing effect. Here is a little striped blouse. I think this is really cute. It was very clearly homemade. I think it actually might be vintage. And then I really liked the cut and style of this blouse, but I ultimately passed on it because it was polyester. And then this one, I just felt like wasn't a good color palette for me. I felt like it really washed me out, even though it was really cute. All right, we are on day three and our final thrift store. This is the new art. Last time I went, I was very unimpressed, but we'll see if it's gotten better. Last time I went, it was only open for like four weeks. So I just just don't think they had their inventory ready. So we'll see what the vibe is this time. Last time I didn't like it because I didn't feel like there was very much vintage. It was all pretty new. So we'll see if that's still the vibe of this store. I thought these shorts were really cute, but again, I just didn't want to figure out the alterations for them and they were slightly too big. This was a beautiful silk floral skirt. It was flowy and delicious and I really liked it, but it was $20 and I just felt like it wasn't worth it, especially considering it has a thin waistband that I don't really like. And then I also tried on this beautiful silk skirt. I thought it was quite lovely and I liked the pleating and it really reminded me of actually a polyester skirt. I had to declutter because it no longer fit me. And this one sent me into conflict, guys. I was trying so hard to stick to budget and I thought this one was pretty, but I just wasn't sure about the color palette. So I ultimately left it behind. And these ended up being horrendous. I thought they had like cute, fun, lesbian potential, but once I put them on, I just like wasn't into how they looked on me at all. I promise they look cuter in video than they did in real life. Here they're looking real cute. And now we're into more blouses. I thought this blouse was nice and it definitely has pin tucking details I wouldn't normally work with, but ultimately I left it behind because we are sticking to budget here. Well, I didn't, but that's a story for a later time. I really liked this top as well, and I ultimately ended up passing on it. It was silk, and I think it's very like 1930s cut. This is definitely something I'll pick up if I was trying to go for a 1930s look, but ultimately I just felt like I couldn't figure out how it would exactly fit into my wardrobe. And then I thought this guy was here, was like fun and cute, but ultimately like not my color palette because of the green. The green in it is not my green. I liked how v-neck and kind of scandalous this one was, but ultimately it's not my color palette. This one I love with my whole soul. It is so cute. It is technically a little big on me, but I think that's fine in a tropical shirt like this. And it's very like California, Palm Springs, beach vibes, pastel. So I had to have it. And then this one I just wasn't wowed by. I was debating it, but ultimately I had enough other things in my cart. And I actually really liked this shirt as well, but I wasn't quite sure about the ruffle on the front, even though I really liked the fabric. And it was also polyester. Now that you have seen all the in-store shopping footage, I can now reveal what I brought home. Again, five or is this six? No, yep, five thrift stores. This first one is the first Goodwill I went to. I picked up this pattern which I believe is a factory folder folded in its simplicity to 777. Might be another seven on there. And what it is is it's this kind of like bloomer top pattern that has these like big angel sleeves. I think this would be like a really nice thing to make for me to wear under some of my corsets. So that is why I picked this one up. I thought the sleeves are beautiful and I'm pretty excited to give it a shot making this. And it was $2.09. 
Next up, I've already worn this quite heavily. This is just like a little pajama outfit I've been wearing around the house. It has these cute little shorts as well as this little pajama shirt. It's just like a matching ran set. Wow, it looks really small. Did I wash it? I'm pretty sure it fits. This is a IML. I just thought these were cute and would be a good thing for me to have for kind of like maybe sewing or just being around the house on weekends to have something just kind of like comfy to wear. And those were $8.00 and 39 cents for the set and then I forgot to bring this home but I actually got a mug I will put a image somewhere I packed my whole suitcase realized I hadn't packed the mug and had no motivation to pack the mug so I didn't and it is still back at my parents home in Colorado but I will get it next time I'm there that mug was two dollars and nine cents and it's a really really beautiful hand thrown piece and then the last thing I got at this Goodwill is this beautiful yellow dress. It has like buttons all down the front and this really beautiful embroidery effect. And I just thought it was really pretty. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not 100% sure on the color, but since it's rayon and cotton, I can easily dye it. I'm debating taking it into like a warm pink realm. We'll see if that's what I end up doing, but that is potentially what we're looking at here. This is way future Haley here, but I did wanna show you what I ended up dyeing this. I ended up dyeing it this kind of like pinky raspberry color and it just works so much better for me in this shade. It's hard to tell here, but this is actually a slightly cooler tone than what it looks like in the footage, but I think it turned out really pretty and I definitely really like this dress a lot more this color rather than that pale yellow. In case you're curious, I used a mix of fuchsia and wine writ dyes to achieve this color. And that's everything for that Goodwill. I spent $22.01, so I would go in, I guess, $2.01 one cent over budget, but I was pretty darn close to what I wanted to spend. The next one is my favorite arc, which is the cheapest arc in the area, and I just think I know that has the best stuff because it takes a lot to sift through it, but their pricing overall is pretty reasonable and it's just, it's a really big store. So first I have another pattern from there. This pattern I got for the shorts and the pants. It has kind of like these long culottes, these longer shorts, and then I think, let's see, it has shorts, shorts, skirt, it has, it has just a good variety of stuff. I'm pretty excited about this. I guess hopefully all the pattern pieces are here and I spent $1.06 on this pattern. And then next in this haul, I also have a white pair of these. Let me find it. I actually probably need to wash the white pair of these. I did wear them recently to a wedding, but they're just these like lingerie pantalone things. They're not particularly cute, but when I'm wearing long dresses like the gunny sacks that I'm wearing today, they're just a nice thing to put under it because then my thighs don't touch at all, but they still feel really nice and loose. So I picked these up for that reason. And I think I might need to do some elastic replacement in these, but these were, $3.19 each. I've been looking at nylon shorts online for a while and I just couldn't like, I like knew I could come across them in the thrift store eventually and I did so I'm pretty happy to have found these. Highly recommend like vintage nylon pantaloons if you can find them. They're great for summer. Next up, I'm really excited about this piece. This is a really beautiful home sewn skirt, likely 60s at the earliest, I would guess probably 70s. It has this lovely tropical print, ruffle, really well sewn on hooks and eyes, things like that, and it was $6.39. And then next, I'm thinking I'm gonna take these to Taylor because I'm feeling kind of too lazy to relearn how to put in a fly, but the fly zipper is broken, which is a bummer. I thought these pants were really nice and they are wool and I paid $3.74. That's not the other reason I bought them, they were half off. So I figured I could spend the like 20 bucks to have a Taylor re-put in the zipper. So that is the plan with those. And then this shirt, I definitely should have pressed but you saw me try it on, so you'll kind of know more what it looks like. It's this beautiful linen silk shirt blend from Dress Barn, and it was $5.33. It just has a lot of really beautiful details, like the trim on the collar and the frog clasps and stuff. I just think it's a really gorgeous piece. It does have one little spot on the back, but that's never bothered me, and it won't bother me now. And then the last thing I picked up are these cuties, which are for 
napkin rings each have like a variety with like a little moth or bug on it and then a plant they're from 95 they are 90, 1995 winter thur whatever that means and here's the last one they're just they're really cute and I got them for three dollars and 19 cents and that felt worthwhile for me and now I'm gonna have to kick a little spunky spunk off my lap to go get my second stack of things all right, my next stack is here, and I forgot to say at that arc, I spent $28.22 on eight items, so pretty good average per item. Next up, we have a Goodwill. This first one here, I'll have to show you things close up. There's a bunch of like really ugly baby angel figurines, some missing their heads, but that is not what I picked this one up for. I actually picked it up for, there's these cute little like animal dishes in them. They're like different chicken dishes. They're like chicken gravy boats and uh, there's this little farm. I think it's a teapot and I just think all of these are really cute. They remind me of pottery I would have made like back in high school and I wanted it for that and did I overpay for this? Absolutely. I paid six dollars and 47 cents and it's the most expensive thing I bought at this shop and the least useful but I just thought it was really cute and there's just all sorts of really cute little things. There's also like a whole flower set of teapots and mugs and things so I just I was tempted and I made the purchase I will be saving all those miniatures for when I have my childhood dollhouse with me again for decorating the kitchen next up I'm really excited about these I will of course be modeling them for you since I couldn't really model them for you in the actual Goodwill but this is a pair of Ralph Lauren shorts they're just some plain black shorts that have a decent length and I really like them and they are were four dollars and 51 cents which is pretty neat and they're super comfy and one of my big missions of this shopping trip were shorts shorts and bottoms in general so I feel like I succeeded in that because I also got this really cute pair of khaki shorts it even has like some side elastic for comfort these are by Cabin Creek which is an old uh, favorite brand of mine to thrift and yeah they're just this nice khaki and these were four dollars and 31 cents here I also picked up this beautiful Ann Taylor silk blouse it's just like this cute little peachy color and I feel like it works really well for like a basic to put both under things or wear with some of my more flamboyant skirts and again it is silk so that's pretty neat and those were four dollars and 31 cents this guy here was three dollars and 23 cents and it is just this cute little teal rose fabric i thought it would just make like a nice peasant blouse for me to pair with a couple different things in my wardrobe and if i didn't mention this was three dollars and 23 cents next up we went to the ark in littleton which is my favorite for crafting notions and also they are hit and miss blows wise i either major score or i don't first up I got like a mystery fabric pack and I mainly got it for these two pieces of Irish linen with a cute little border hem. In retrospect, I probably didn't need to buy these and then it also had this little scrap of vintage fabric. It also had five or six more pieces of fabric, but I just redonated those because those weren't things I was interested in. So this is what I actually came away with even though there was much more in the pack. I thought this little piece of blue floral fabric was at least really cute and I could add it. I have some scrap plans for what what I'm gonna do with my scraps this winter. So I'm adding it to the pile for that. Then I'm very excited about this outfit. I mean, it wasn't intentionally that I bought an outfit, but there are these really, really, really cute little blue shorts. Just such a fun peppy color and I'm really excited about them. And then what matches them and one of the why I say it's a nice little outfit is this beautiful seersucker top that has the same blue as what's in the shorts and this is definitely somebody made this at home. It has like raw edges and stuff like that and I just think yeah this makes the cutest little outfit together. And then last of what I got there I got this huge bag of notions. The main reason I picked this up actually was it has a ton of covered buttons kit and I've been wanting to have covered buttons in my stash because occasionally I have a project where I can't find anything I want to make so that's good for that and then there's a few hook and eyes but mainly in it for the covered buttons and then the last thing I picked up there is this really lovely I got two big chunks of gathered eyelet trim if you've been watching this channel recently I've been working on bulking up my stash of these because when I am working my way through projects that are designed to just use up my stash I am finding that I don't have enough of this in my stash and often find myself in a little bit of a stuck point because of it 
The Joann's near me at least. I do not like the trim like this they carry and they only carry like two different sizes. So yeah, I've been adding these guys into my stash. Also, I like the patterns on those. They're quite nice quality. Oh, and I never told you what any of these were. The fabric grab bag was $3.33. The lace grab bag was $4.31. The hook and eye grab bag was $4.31. The blue shorts was $5.39. And the seersucker blouse was also $5.39. $5.39. So that brought us to a total from that for at $22.73. And I also didn't mention the Goodwill where I got the fabric and stuff. My total there was $22.83. So, so far we stayed pretty close to around budget, but we are about to blow it at our next thrift shop. This one is the last arc I went to. This arc is super, super overpriced. So I'm not, I don't know. Part of me is debating not going again because it's too tempting and too hard to stay on budget. I, all of these places I got five items or more at including this arc but this arc I only got five items at and it was almost double the price of the rest of the thrift stores so not ideal so the first thing that I got here is boring for you guys I think but exciting for me it's just this pair of comfy black lightweight kind of sweatpants. I wear these a ton in the home when I go grocery shopping and this one even has the bonus of so many pockets. It has I think like six pockets on it. I wear these when I hike. I wear them when I go for a walk. These are just like a really multi-purpose piece for me and I've been debating. I own a pair, not this exact pair, but I own a similar pair that I've been really debating buying another pair, but I really try not to buy new. I really try to buy second hand. So I was super excited when these came into my life via this arc and I spent $6.39 on them, which the only reason I'm okay with that for a pair of sweatpants from the thrift shop is they're in great shape and they were something that I've been going back and forth between buying brand new recently. So this was a good use case for me to not. Similarly, I also picked up this pair of navy blue pants. They're really, really cute. They do need a good iron, but they are cute, I swear. They are by... JH Collectibles, um, and they are 100% wool. They're a really beautiful cut. They're exactly the type of pant I look for. So I was pretty excited to find these, and it's so funny. So the reason you don't see these try me on in my try on like run that I show you in the thrift store is I had gone through the pants and it was so weird because there were no pants in this style in my size and I got out of the fitting room and I saw a woman about my size put a ton of these like 80s wool pants on the rack that like didn't fit her so it was actually kind of funny because we were basically looking for the same thing and she beat me to it so I just took all the pants that she put back and I tried them on and I found not the, just this pair which was $8.53 which I am okay with because they are 100% wool lined the whole shebang. But I didn't just find that pair off that rack. I also found this really lovely pair. They're by Counterparts, but they're a pair of cream pants, and I was kind of wanting to add some cream pants to my wardrobe. So I picked this up from the stash that she put back, and these were $6.39. These ones do have the downside of not having a lining, but I have enough different tricks up my sleeve that that should be just fine. And I've also debated just like making what's basically lining for pants out of like some flesh colored nylon or something that I can use when I have pants with no lining. Seems kind of elaborate, but we all sometimes make wild choices. You saw me try this one on. This is a silk skirt that I picked up. It does need a steam. I did run it through the washing machine. So now it's a little bit wrinkly. I spent $13.87. This is the most expensive item in the haul. It is silk and it reminds me of a piece I actually had to declutter due to my weight fluctuating. So I was really excited to find this piece and more than happy to pay that $13, $14 for it. And last, I guess but not least, even though it's maybe not the most exciting piece. Let me button it. I'm gonna have to probably make sure it has all its buttons. That's been really recently. I'm not bad at the thrift store, but I've definitely noticed a lot more missing buttons recently, which is fine because uh, obviously I can replace a button in like three seconds. It is frustrating for people. A lot of people don't know how to sew a button. The last piece that I bought was this gorgeous tropical candy colored little shirt. I think this shirt is so adorable and I am so excited to have 
have found it. Um, it's just my style and it will also go really great with those shorts I got. I will look full dad this summer and I'm pretty excited about it. And that tropical shirt was $8.53, which is pretty high for a shirt at the thrift shop. It was the last stop and I decided to just say, screw it. Uh, who cares about my budget? And so instead of my 20-ish dollar goal, I spent $43.71 at that thrift store. And again, that is for five items, which every single thrift store I went to, I spent, I got five items or more at. So it's pretty wild. It's that expensive. Oh, except for Goodwill. One of the Goodwills I got four items at and it was $22, but Goodwill is typically a little bit more expensive. It's actually one of the reasons I try to avoid it. But yeah, that is the haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, this trip, I think I'm most excited about the shorts I got because they were on my list. I had been really wanting some great pairs of shorts and now I have them and they're in some really great neutral colors with the brown and the khaki. So I am ecstatic. But with that, that is a wrap on this video. I post every single Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. If you want to subscribe and stick around, I would love to have you. And then, of course, you can support my channel by giving this a thumbs up and commenting down below. Is there something that I tried on that you thought I absolutely should have bought or something like that? I would love to hear it. Obviously, it has gone to the thrift gods now, but nonetheless, I always kind of think it's fun what people think I should have gotten. And with that, I will see you next week. Bye!